<laughs> hey, Leo, welcome to another Qubit XPNA coffee break when we're talking about Qubit software. Today I'm drinking a chocolate flavored coffee. I need a little chocolate in my life this morning. What are you drinking? Ah, you guessed it. I mean, it's always green tea for me. That dead gum green tea. Come on, man. Give me a break. All right. Well, you know, I'm I'm going to give you a break and and let you do the the, the green tea. But um, hey, next time you join me, I need some coffee. Okay, this is a coffee break. That's it's a not deal. a tea break. All right. That's a deal. I'm not going to take you back through Leo's whole bio, but um, just to let you know, he's a seasoned sales leader, 15 years experience, proven track record, deep expertise in sales performance management, FPNA, XPNA, BI, business analytics, data management, and predictive modeling. And he's driving our go-to-market for Qubit software offerings. Today, we're talking about data work. Okay, question for you, Leo. With tools like data work revolutionizing planning, data, and predictive processes, what's your perspective on the future of data management and analysis in the context of rapidly advancing automation technologies? Dan, great question. So particularly as it pertains to data work, right? What we have to be able to do is make it easier for folks to take data from wherever it lives, all of the multiple data sources that they may need, bring that data together in a way that's consumable, bring it into the planning system, and even layer on predictive modeling. And that's really what data work allows you to do. It allows you to run the gamut of full XPNA and do any kind of planning in the planning solution of your choice because data work takes the data, it blows it out to its lowest level, it can bring it from wherever the data lives, consolidate it, aggregate it back, and put it back into the planning system, fully transformed and with predictive layering on top. Great. Fantastic. My, my question here is, though, is uh, most of these planning platforms have some sort of predictive analytics. Now, we talked a little bit about predictive analytics. How's data work different from that standpoint? Yeah. So data work does a couple of things a little bit differently than the predictive analytics that comes packaged in with most planning platforms. First and foremost, data work allows you to take the aggregated data that's inside the planning platform, blow it out to its lowest level, and run predictive modeling on its lowest level. The reason that's beneficial is the lower you can plan at, the more accurate your results are going to be, right? And planning systems are not very good at planning at that lowest level. They're good. They're really good at planning at an aggregated level. So Data work bolted onto a planning system lets you blow it out to that lowest level and add the predictive layering at that level and increase your, your accuracy. But number two, the other thing that data work does that planning platforms don't do natively is it allows you to layer on predictors, right? It allows you to layer on outside predictors that are not inherent in the data that already exists. So I can bring in weather data. I can bring in economic data. I can bring in trends in a different market anything that'll help me predict the future with the data that we already have in our system. So marrying our internal data from a regression standpoint while bringing in causal data that would add more accuracy to the forecast. That's exactly right. You nailed it. That's exactly hey, what it is. Well, I'm done for the week. I mean, my coffee break's done. You know, my one gym uh, for the week here. So, <laughs> so it hey. was a good one. It was good. <laughs> thanks, man. So um, thanks for your overview of data work. Join us for the next Cubit Coffee Break when we're going to be talking to some industry experts. I got a retail industry expert. I have one of the retired CFOs from the Coca-Cola organization that's going to be on the Cubit Coffee Break. That's going to be interesting. By the way, if you find this topic interesting and would like to schedule a one-on-one 15-minute coffee break focused on your business and the challenges you face, contact me or Leo and we'll send you a $30 Starbucks gift card and schedule a call at a time convenient for you. Leo, thank you for your time today. Great information. Thanks for having me, Dan. See you soon.